Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and doing it, whatever it takes, any and everything to hold on to our pretty because it's so fleeting. And I just want to say mwah, 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 welcome back to my returning subscribers. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. All right, ladies. I know I want to talk about my lips and my nails, but I'm sure you're like, what the heck is on her head? What, what What's going on? I know that's the elephant in the room today, right? Well, I was walking through Nordstrom's and uh, a couple of weeks ago and I saw this headband and I thought that's different. So I tried it on and I thought it was just playful and fun. And now I look, I took a picture and I looked at it and I said, you look crazy as hell. You look crazy as I don't know what with this headband sitting on your head. But it's fun. And I'm going to wear it today because it's fun. And it may look crazy. I mean, I feel like Mickey Mouse or something. I don't know. But it's leather and it's wool. And it's it was $28. And I, it just kept drawing me in. And I walked away from it. And I came back. You know, I love a headband. But I kept saying, oh, well. And the guy that sold it to me, he said, it looks good with your outfit because I had on neutrals that day. And my hair was just pulled back. And I said, you know, it's kind of fun. It's different. So dare to be different sometimes, ladies. Dare to be different. Uh, lipstick of the day, one of my favorites. It's the Lachelle. I'm sorry, it's Chanel Le Duo, of course. And this is a darker red than, than I normally wear. Uh, now let me get the color for you. I forgot to... Uh, write the color down. But I was watching my girl Sharon at Ageland Restyling uh, yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. And she went to she went shopping with her sister in the mall and stuff. I'll list that video below because you have to see it if you haven't seen it. And she bought some Chanel products and she had seen me seen my video talking about this fabulous lipstick. And she bought two of them. She said the guy put it on her at the makeup counter and she said I've been in it all day I've eaten I've done this and hung out with my niece and my sister and and her lipstick was still I told you it's this I discovered this when it was doing COVID wearing a mask because I hated how my mouth would get messed up from wearing the mask this stayed in place it didn't rub off didn't smear and you didn't look like what the heck's going on but let me get the color for you Anyway, Sharon really liked it. Of course, I can't get this glasses on with this headband. This color is number 49. It's called Ever Red. Ever Red. It's a beautiful... Let me put my little peepers up. <laughs> beautiful color. Of course, the color's on this end. The clear gloss is on this end. And once you put this on, it dries. And it'll feel kind of sticky. It dries down. And you put this clear coat on. And you're shining and you're good you can you can drink out of something you can eat and it stays and it you know it's it's just great I can't say enough about it and Sharon says she wants to get one more she got a nude color I wonder how that's gonna work out because sometimes when I get certain colors I like and I get it in a lighter color it kind of breaks down on the lip but I have probably six of these they're 45 bucks a pop but they're worth it so that's what's on my mouth today, on the lips today. And I just put Sister Cole, the pink, back on my nails. I had a hard time taking that white off, and I don't even want to talk about it. I'm going to keep trying. But I did pretty good this time, but I'm sick of this iridescent. I want some real color, so eventually I'm going to go back to my regular nail polish. But it's so nice, the, the, the quickness of this, 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 this. You're done, and you can do stuff right after, so enough of that enough of that before we get started today I have one new pair of shoes to show you you know there's always a shoe coming along in my in my life or whatever I'm always looking for another shoe or something and it's itching this is by Franco Sardo of course you know my boyfriend Franco and it is I know wait for it it's not a boot so I'm still looking for some boots every boot I like the heel is three or three and a half are you having that problem too trying to find a boot that's stylish and anyway we're not talking about that now this is you gotta just go what it's a love soul 
wing tip. Look at that. Got the little wing tip. Lug so lace up. Look at that lug so. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at her. Oh, she is fantastic. Look at that. I am looking forward to wearing that. It fits like a glove. I get a size 8. I don't have to, to guess at it. I don't think. I haven't even unwrapped the mate. She's wrapped up, boy. Okay. So there we go. Size 8. Got these at Nordstrom's or Macy's. I'll list them below. Look, it's got the little fabric right here in the back. Isn't it nice? It's got that nice bottom. See, when it gets cold and you're out there on those chilly days running errands and everything, you want something like this on. The only thing I hate is when I come back and the salt or the rocks get stuck between because this is pretty wide though it won't get stuck between too much but comfortable looks and look look at the laces ladies look at the tips look it's got little things on the tips little metal silvery pewter color like man's shoe or something so i love these i'll list these great 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 shoe not too heavy but you know could be a weapon if necessary Sometimes we have to take our shoe off for some things, right? <laughs> I don't know if it has a name on here. Let me see. It is called L Ballon Oxford in Black Sea. Okay, Black Sea. Cool, right? All right. Now, weather's changing back and forth. And we are finally in the season. The holidays are on us. And I love this time of the year. And I don't know where my voice is going. <clears throat> okay. But I love this time of the year because there's, there's holidays, there's festivities, there's things going on, parties and this and that. And oh, the Ruhaha. I love it, I love it, I love it. I hope you do too. So I was thinking this week, let me do Thanksgiving is next week. So let's, I said, well, what about wearing something for Thanksgiving? Let's do some fashions you could wear to Thanksgiving dinner, if you're having Thanksgiving dinner, or whatever you're doing for Thanksgiving, and even over that the three day, you know, you get Thursday, Friday, Saturday, whatever, the three days that you're doing things, if you're traveling, or you're going places, and, or you're just hanging out at the mall shopping or something, because you, you know, you're with your girls, and, or your niece, or your family, okay? Just, I just thought I'd come up with, I put together four looks of something to wear, what to wear for Thanksgiving, and be comfortable. I didn't want anything restrictive. I wanted something where when you eat, you know, and that belly goes, whoop, and you go, oh God, why did I wear this? So I tried to put some looks together that will cover the stomach, but won't be emphasized, and if you have to undo that top button, you can undo it, and no one will be the wiser. Because if the food is good, if you like me, you just eat. You graze and you eat and you graze and you eat and it just goes on and on and on. So I am going to uh, show you those four looks today and and uh, thank you, thank you for your support and all you do. And if you like this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. We are working towards 15,000. We are getting there slowly but surely and I'm having a ball along the way and I know you will too. So. I will show you this look. This is a new sweater. It's the only new piece other than the headband. Everything else you've seen. So I wanted to shop my closet for these Thanksgiving looks. I don't, I don't want you to go out and go buy something for Thanksgiving unless you've got some like fancy dinner thing to go to if you need to get something for that. But do you know Thanksgiving is it's just casual family dressy casual or it's just easy you know so pull some out of your closet you know last week i showed all the cashmere sweaters and by the way thank you thank you you guys educated me on some things and you guys embraced the cashmere that was fun right that was so much fun and uh so this week we're digging in the closet because coming up i want to try to i've shown you so many of my pieces and i don't want them to be uh what is it one one hit wonders 
I want you to have pieces that can be a repeat, 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 repeat. Put it on a rotation, put it on repeat to where you're not even tired of it because it always seems new to you to get to wear it this new way. And that's how you have to look at it. Okay, so I've got this jacket I wore it and just hang it up. We want to wear it again and again and again because you're going different places or you're, you're in a different mood. You want to wear it this way. So that's why I just said, let me. This is a new piece, but I put it with old pieces. Everything I put together is things that are in the wardrobe already. So I'll be right back and we'll do that. Okay? Be really comfortable for Thanksgiving. Simple, classic card pants. The sweater is the newest. The newest thing I got. I got it at Talbot's, ladies. You need to get this sweater in your wardrobe. Nice mock turtle. All of this, this trim. Look at this, you got the splits on the side, easy access to my pocket, yet it hits down enough. I got it in a size small, and I kept thinking, oh, this would be great in a medium, but I like the way the small is hugging just right, right here. It's not tight, it's not restricted. And look at the sleeves. They come with this big cuff. It's already turned back. Nice cuff. You've got that, that ribbing down here and all the little... Uh, it's just the, all the detail on it. Just pull them back, throw it on. I got on my corduroy pants, Banana Republic from last year, the pleated pants. So again, I can sit down and I can eat turkey and dressing and ham and macaroni and mashed potatoes and gravy and green beans and cakes and pies. Oh my. And you know, we eat and it's like, oh. see, we don't want to know. The stomach comes out, you got the nice sweater on the outside. You just got to have something on the outside. <laughs> if you have to undo that button, you know, you can undo it and, and sit down and be comfortable. So it's all about being comfortable and cute. And I know the headband still looks crazy, but it's fun. And I would wear it. I would wear it all day and hope they wouldn't take too many pictures because when those pictures come in, what, what was on her head? Huh? What? What's on uh, Deborah's head? <laughs> so, but sometimes you just have to be different. You just have to go. Give them something to talk about. You know, let's give them something to talk about. Oh, on my feet. I have on my one of my favorite pairs of, these are Franco Sardo, little short gold, golden bronze boot. Love this boot. I showed it to you, it's not new, but it's the perfect heel, perfect pointed toe. It's almost like a cowboy boot, but it's just so nice. I ordered them in, I think I ordered a pair in black, waiting on those to come, because I've been trying to find me some nice pointed toe black boots, and I can find them, but the heels just, you know, can't walk in them. But this heel is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect heel. Really nice. Really, not really, really nice. So that is the look, ladies. Simple, classic. As my girl would say, my fashion, my runway, <laughs> my fashion, my style, my age, my shorts. This is ageless. Oh, let's get to wear this. Us of a big age, us of a youthful age, us of a, a what is it, sensible age or that mid in between, fun age, just any age. So, put the sweater on. Would be great to have this in a darker color. I can't remember if it came in a darker color, but. I think you'll like this. Really nice. So, I don't know what I'm putting on next, but I'm going to do three more looks for you. Just something fun to wear for Thanksgiving. Comfortable, and if you're a little dressy, not too dressy, a little casual, not too casual. That's how we do it at the Denver Group Channel. I'll be back with the next look, ladies. All right, ladies, keeping with the light colors. This is classic, easy, dress up for Thanksgiving if you want to. I just have on, only new thing here, I have a, a, this blouse is new, but it's a Ralph Lauren, no iron, and you know I have like three of those or four of those, and it's just a nice, I don't know what's going on with me in powder blue and blues lately. Blues are like working on this old pale skin of mine, so I'm loving putting the blues in. This is just a sweater. This is a sweater from Talbot's from last year. It's just an oversized sweater vest, pullover, cable knit in the front, plain in the back. 
Ralph Lauren blouse in a medium. And I added my little brooch. Isn't that cute? It's got all the sparkle and it's got blue stones. It picks up the blue so well. My favorite old pants from Ann Taylor from ages ago. And I put on my Sam Elliman, yeah, my Sam Elliman bone boots, the tall boots. Remember those from last year? Put the tall boots on because the pants are the nice little cropped pants. Comfortable, playing with all this vanilla and off-white and cream and then popping it with that little touch of baby blue. <laughs> Little touch of baby blue. And I changed the earrings to a very small hoop because I got all this going on. And I just put a gold necklace on and just kept it simple. And I can eat. See? I can eat and be comfortable. That's what I want you to think about for Thanksgiving. Wear something over that's over and loose enough where you can eat and you don't have to feel like, oh God, why did I wear this? Or I'm not going to eat too much because then my stomach's going to pooch out. And you know, I want to tell you, years ago my girlfriend used to say that and I used to go, my stomach don't stick out when I eat. I just think she made that up. It sticks out when I eat now, now that I've gotten older and, and everything. But I just want you to take in this look. You can do this, ladies. Simple, simple. You know I love a blouse to hang down from something. It's just, I don't know what it is about me. I love that hanging out from under there. Just push the sleeves back. Who buttons anything anymore? But this blouse just feels rich. It feels comfortable. It's a great color. And look how that collar, it just stands up. It's staying up. Usually, you know, they don't stay up. And, and it's even good. You can wear it buttoned. And it's just a nice. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. And I kept it nice and bright and pretty, these first two looks. We're going to go a little dark. I go over with some of my black pieces, a couple of black looks to show you. But again, you can go, you know, this may be the time you're meeting his parents for the first time. And you don't want to be overdressed or underdressed. You can come in and meet the family and say hello. You can eat and, you know, play with the little kids and whatever, you know. You still, you'll be okay. You'll be fine. You'll pass the test. What do you think? My fashion, my style, my choice, your fashion. You can put this look together. I know you all probably have some crop pants or some off-white pants or any kind of pants in your wardrobe, a shirt, sleeveless, sweater vest. And if you don't have one, there's probably one in your husband's closet. But they're everywhere. H&M has them. You know, Banana probably even has some. But I got this last year at Talbot's. I, don't, I think I got it in a small, but it's big. You want it big and oversized to so just pull over something. And you'll notice, ladies, I didn't include jeans in this. For one, I don't have any great jeans. I'm still on the hunt for the perfect jeans for me. But just think about it. The last thing you want is a pair of jeans at Thanksgiving. As soon as you eat, you got to undo those blue jeans. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> what was it with some movie where the lady would always say, am I right or am I right? So, you know about blue jeans. They don't, they don't give you any mercy. So, enjoy this look. I'll be back with the next look. You know, click, click, click in your mind. I can do just what Deborah just did. Simple, classic, basic. Your fashion, your style, your age. I'll be back. Let's take a walk on the dark side for this one. All right, black. I put the pink on. This is my pink. Banana Republic shirt. You've seen it before. It's really long and kind of oversized and not non-iron, but you know, it's a nice, nice long collar. Works perfect over my faux leather uh, sleeveless top. You've seen this before too. It's old. And of course the uh, Chico's faux leather pleated skirt. Oh, I wish I could find another one on, similar to this to have. But great for Thanksgiving work. And on my feet, I know I got these skinny little ankles before you comment. I probably need a thicker sock on, but I wanted to feature the uh, plug lace ups as casual, patent, really nice, fun little shoe. I think you ought to consider getting these. So comfortable. So comfortable. And you can wear that with this look. 
because it's Thanksgiving and you just want to be comfortable and casual. And it's a great look. <laughs> oh, and the lugs, I'm telling you, they're just, I'm talking about your feet are comfortable, they're not raised up, your knees are comfortable, you know what I mean. And of course, this is a little snug for eating because as soon as I eat, you know it's going to happen. But it, it gives. It does give, so you'll be all right. Raise it up some like that. <laughs> you know, you can raise it up and not so much. But it's a great little fold out of top and a look to wear for Thanksgiving with the lug sofas. Uh, lug loafers. <laughs> I'll get that off my tongue, right? I am having such a ball. I appreciate you hanging around. We got one more look and then I'll let you go. I love you, I appreciate you, I thank you. And I like, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, keep the algorithm happy, 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 happy. And I am happy to be here for you every Thursday. I am here every Thursday, every Thursday. You know, today for some reason I feel like I'm running out of breath. I guess I'm talking too fast and I need to take my time and just spend the time with you. Again, another good Thanksgiving Day outfit you can pull out your closet. As you know, these are all old pieces. Um, this is very old. This is very old. This is from this summer. And the shoes are new though. And the little socks. So. I am going to show you the finale. It's another one with, I'm going to use black again. But I want to show that as if you were the host. And you just, you, the company's at, the people are at your house. Everybody's at your house and you just want to be comfortable, but look nice. So we're going to do that, do that for the hostess with the mostess. In other words, in other words, in the meantime, check your closet. You have something to put on for Thanksgiving for the holidays when you're running around and going to lunch or just, you know, picking up food, and sitting down to eat, chit-chat and catch up take pictures, you know how we take all the pictures on, on the holidays and everything, so pull out your pieces, ladies, and I'll be back with the finale. Be the hostess with the mostess. Comfortable, classic, basic pieces. And I'm telling you, this is an old Adrian Vittadini linen piece that I've had probably 30, 35 years. A long time, okay? Love this piece. It's linen. It's got the deep vents on each side. Kind of oriental cut. Just big and loose and comfortable. Just got on my Banana Republic uh, book neck knit top. Some old, old, probably 15 years old. Just some skinny slacks from Ann Taylor. And because I am the hostess, and I want to be the hostess with the mostess, so I want to be comfortable, right? I'm running here, I'm running there, I'm doing this, checking on you, making sure this is ready, everything's good. You gotta have on some comfortable shoes. You gotta have on some flat shoes that work. So I put on my Steve Madden little flat gold flats. Look at I got the tag still on the bottom. But comfortable cushion will get you through that, that evening of serving and and just having a few drinks and laughing and making sure everybody's okay and still looking cute along the way. Right? I hope I gave you time to look at the shoes. They're just some simple gold pumps and everybody, you should all have a pair of gold flats in your wardrobe. I even need me a silver pair. I get a silver pair. I get a gold. Well, you know, I kind of got those pewter colored ones. I forgot. I forgot about those. So I kind of got my silver flats. But get you a pair. These are really cushioned. And really, they've got a nice rubber sole, flexible, just, you know, not a lot of support on the foot, but great for when you're at home running around, taking care of everybody, because you are the perfect hostess, right? Again, simple, classic pieces, just pull them out of the closet, and I'm ready. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I'm Thanksgiving ready. All I need is the food. <laughs> and you see, I threw on my favorite earrings. I figure, to got to be the host, you can be a little bit extra. At least at the beginning, probably by the end of the evening, you're taking these things off and sticking some studs in your ear or some little small hoops. But whatever works for you, ladies. Remember, 
I hope you enjoyed today. I hope I gave you some inspiration as to what to put on for Thanksgiving. And something you may just put on sweats. You may put on ath athleisure wear. It's according to what you're doing and where you're going and who you're going to be around. And how much you want to eat, right? So as always, I enjoy my time with you. I look forward to my time with you. You know, check out the Lux, Lux Souls Lace Up Wing Tips. Those are kind of cool. <laughs> and, you know, Talbot's for that cream colored sweater I showed you at the beginning. That's a new one, and I think it's a great one to add to the wardrobe. It'll be so easy to wear this, this season. So, what do we do here? We leave a little kindness everywhere we go. Come back to see me next week. I'll be back with some more things. We'll come up with some things to do and some styles to work in our closet and work with what we have and what's new, what's old, what's working. We're going to make it work in your life. Sonia Woods Rose would say, or Sonia Rose, as Sonia would say, uh, <laughs> what's in your closet? So, leave a little kindness everywhere you go. I'll, come. I'll be back to see you next week. I love you. I thank you. I appreciate you. Bye, ladies. And gentlemen. Bye-bye.